Uh, today I'm going over the ASU. It's a solar powered security system, four cameras, 2K, completely wireless, solar panels, and uh, 360 days of solar power. It's a battery system, forever solar. Uh, some of the main points it's got 365 days, like I was saying, for camera coverage, because the batteries. We'll just keep powered up by the solar panels. As long as you have two hours of uh, sunlight, then you're good to go. 2K resolution. It's got 166 degree wide angle. So you shouldn't miss anything going on. Four cameras to cover every corner of your property or your house, if that's what you're looking for. The 2K resolution offers a 50% increase in clarity. Compared to 1080, so that's that's good for a nice clear picture. There's no monthly fee for well, the home base. You got the home base which records a video for you, backs it up. Secure smart alerts. Send alerts to your phone through the app. Now, IP66 waterproof, so you can definitely can put them outside. It's got two way. Uh, audio, so basically like a door camera. You can talk to whoever at your door or in your yard, whichever. Simple installation. Got the brackets. It's got everything you need inside. We'll open that up right away and show you what's inside. Okay, we'll open up the box. See what the contents. Okay, first off, we got these solar panels. Everything's packaged quite well. So we're going to have the four solar panels. Uh, each panel's got a long cord on it. So sometimes you may want to place the camera in one area, but not the best sunlight all the time. But you can place the solar panel where you get your best sunlight. So we got four solar panels, one for each camera. We have the stickers, warning stickers. You can place around your property, on the windows, doors. The easy use manual, quick start guide. Explains every step of the process. How to get it hooked up to your app, how to download. How to hook it to your router, connecting the home base. So everything you need is in the smart quick start guide. The home base itself, that just plugs into your router. We have four cameras, 2K, QHD, QR code in the back. You'll need that to scan. To get them hooked into your app, get the whole system operating. For them, you got the brackets for the cameras and solar panels. So everything you need. Got the Ethernet connecting line. We'll show you how that connects to the router. 120 plug-in. To plug into your home base. And all the screws and mounting that you would need. Plugs, depending on the surface, you may need to use the plugs. And you got your four cords to plug in the cameras, get them all charged up. Because you want to charge the cameras 100% before you actually put them in place. So yeah, that's about all we got, but it's got everything you need, all the connectors to get going. Okay, connecting the home base to the router. Get your home base 
I'm going to plug in the power cord. Make sure it's in good. Green light comes on. And then you've got to get out your Ethernet cable. And you connect her to your rotor. The LED light uh, turns green, which it has, yeah, when the base unit is ready for setup. Just connect to any open port you have on your router. Well, it's in the back of the home base. Green light comes on indicating it's connected. Okay, then you just go to uh, the installation manual, quick start guide, and you can either scan the QR code or just go to the uh, Apple Store or Google Play, whatever applies to the device you're using, your phone, to download the app. And you get the app downloaded onto your phone. You take it from there. Okay, once you download the app, simply open it. You have to allow for no, if you want to have notification, which you will, right? If you want to know when the, there's activity on the cameras. And then log in. If you don't have an account, you'll have to create an account. First name, last name, and your region. So we'll get an account set up, and then we'll come back. Okay, once you get it, uh, app downloaded, and you register for an account, free account, Open up the app, and then you'll have to add a device. So just permission pop up, just read through it, just allow, allow, turn on your, make sure your Bluetooth settings are on. Okay, you're going to have to have all your cameras ready. I'm going to have to scan the QR code. Ready to scan. Please scan the QR code on the device or home base with your phone. Let's do the home base first. And you select the proper one. So you just follow along the instructions. Very straightforward, tells you step by step. So we'll get them all connected here. Make sure Ethernet cable's in, power's on. Ensure all cameras are turned on. So you just press and hold the sync button on the back. Five seconds. Hello. Blue light comes on and it says hello. How easy is that? Hello. 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 I hear hello. Press the sync button on the back of the home base until it beeps and the green light flashes. We'll press and hold the sync button. There we go, we got the beep. Continue. Connecting. Home base is searching. Okay. Oh, that's my darn brother's. Uh, Harley Davidson clock. We'll wait till that uh, is done. Okay, yeah, so we're connected. Successful home base connection. It has all the camera, serial numbers, and check mark. And yeah, there is four. So done. Talking about smart cloud storage. If you want extra storage, the home base does record. A significant amount of data 
But if you want more, I'm going to skip it for now. And that's it, just a few ads and whatnot. This just runs you through all the different options, how to set up the different settings. So you just go through each one. Okay, so we've got all the cameras hooked up. They're just looking at the ceiling right now. Top one was in uh, sleep mode. When there's no action going on, then go into sleep mode, and then they save on power. So now that's uh, simply it. Now we've got to get them uh, mounted. And we'll show you how that goes. I'm going to show you some of the features here. And we've got the illumination. Lights. So I'll take them out and I'm going to mount them and show you how it works from there. But it's very straightforward, user friendly. Okay, the first thing you got to do is select a location. I'm going to put one up here. And I, I have another camera on that corner. Maybe I'll have another one going down the side of the building. I'd like to try and catch some wildlife. Okay, easy process to mount the camera. Got the mounting screws. Won't need the plugs, I'm going into wood. You have the base, that's the first thing that goes on. And then the mount for the actual camera. So put the base on. Once you have your, your location selected, just simply, I like to uh, put it under the overhang because just to keep the weather off the camera. If you mount the base plate. Okay, you got your uh, camera. Mounting bracket. Just simply screw it in. Nice and snug. And slide it on. See how the clip here? There's a little notch. Notch here. Just line it up. And it slides right on. Then you can adjust the camera anywhere you want it. Whatever angle. You're looking for. I think I'm going to cover the vehicles for now. Make sure you take the protective case off and make sure the camera is up the right way. Now we got to hook on the solar panel. We get a solar panel out and mounting bracket. They simply go together in the package, they're separated, but you simply put this tall piece on top. Securing nut, and you can tighten it up, and then you'll be able to adjust it any way you want. For the solar panel to mount, right here will be great. Lots of sunlight. Only needs um, two hours a day, minimum. But best to have more if you can. Secure. Nut on nice and tight. I like to have this so it can go into that joint. So you can simply turn, turn which way you want it. Very secure. And then the solar panel screws on. Snug. 
there's a tightening nut on the back here you need to tighten it more get the nice angle for the sun you got lots of line here so that's why you could have the panel in good sunlight yet the camera can be down lower where it's not getting so much sunlight or whatever position you need it in I will tuck these wires away nicer once uh, once I get it charging that should be great about like so and then we simply plug in the bottom there's a little weatherproof boot here that you just remove or cover you don't remove it but you pop it up open it's in there snug there we go fingernails are too short and simply plug it in and it is now charging and like I say I'm going to tuck these wires out of the way nicely Maybe back here and uh, it'll look good it'll look good for the burglars okay so I'm gonna get the other ones mounted and then we'll take a look on the app like I say remove the protective covering once you have it in position interesting you got these uh, voice alerts in the app if someone's delivering say a package to your door please put the package at the door thank you look at that pre-recorded alerts hey what are you doing here interesting looking good looking good Got the last on the back of the house. Try and catch some wildlife. Nice, crisp, clear picture. 